Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, I'm Captain Gamer, and let's play Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. Last time, I ran out of Red 9 ammo. Whoever would have thought that would happen. Maybe we will find some more Red 9 ammo over here. And also, storyline-wise, we have stormed the island, which appears to be the end game, but we are far from the actual end game of this game. That is a green text door, meaning there's a whole new map over there, and I have forgotten how to use map features because I am a silly, silly person. Looks like our destination is over at the end of that hallway. So, is this locked? Well, let's explore around, shall we? This, uh, cramped hallway. That actually scared me. <laughs> what was that? I heard a musical sting. It usually happens when something scary is going on. Hoo yeah! Yeah. Whoa, 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 man! That you, <laughs> you freaked me out with your red eye. Come on, TMP, do your thing, or I'll just whoops, or I'll knife you. There we go. Woo! Red eyes. Or something else. Oh, what do we have in here? This was much ado about boomstick ammo, but I will take them because they are highly appreciated. What is with this room now to have that guy in the gas mask? And that is a green herb. I have plenty of green herbs at my disposal, so. Maybe I should start using them. Maybe. Yeah, using one green herb won't hurt me in the long run. I highly hope it won't. So, since the game was so generous to give me boomstick ammo, I will go ahead and make use of said ammo. But now I'm wondering if there are gonna be any more red eyes... Black Dragon, go! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Survival horror. Is he dead? Woo! What the heck was up with that? Ugh. This means rotten, but I sure could use a fat, juicy steak right about now. You are not the only one. I actually had steak not too long ago. But, disregarding that, we'll just have to keep moving along. Oh, the uh, door that I ran into earlier is locked. I kind of don't want to start talking about what's going on in the storyline right now, because that's usually when the people come out and start being mean to me. And it looks like I will... I just uh, used up that herb right off. So we're on the island where the end game is happening. Because this is where they just did a ritual on Ashley. And now, I guess they're just making preparations for them to become the Lost What? The Lost Plagas Queen or something. So, I'm going to proceed very carefully, because I heard someone... Oh! Hello there, sir! You are armored and whatnot. Oh! I heard Ashley! I like how they do that. They sort of bait you with hearing Ashley in the distance. Can I get you with the rifle from all the way over here? Yes, I can! That worked out. So, if that worked out so well for you... You, sir! Are you looking for some semi-automatic love? Yes, you are. Everybody loves a semi-automatic. The boomstick will just have to help me out for when something pops out at me, which I do not doubt is going to happen soon. Whoops. Um, it was like that when I got here. What? Uh, what's going on? Oh, that's an arrow. Who is firing arrows at me? Are you is it coming from down there? Man. Just started this episode and it's already started off so tense. <laughs> and it is knifing time. Knife job, Leon. 
Oh, hello. No. No. I'm going to penetrate your she the shield of your emotions. Oh, wow. Aren't you sturdy guys? Very sturdy guys. Looks like I'll be knifing to reserve on ammo again. Whoa! Yeesh. These guys do not take any sass from my knifing. Good to know. What in the world are they eating here? I have no idea because I cannot identify any of this stuff right here. Any of that. Okay. So what was the point of this room exactly? I'm guessing it was the way forward. In some way, shape, or form. More pesetas. Ooh, a yellow herb. And this is one time I will not mind making a traffic light prematurely, because I have all these sources of healing. Ah, and now Leon almost has uh, as much HP as he possibly can have. And after that, then I can get to work on Ashley's HP, because yes, yellow herbs even work on her. But what else is there to find besides... Is that something? Yes, it is. It is a treasure. The Red Stone of Faith. How about that Red Stone of Faith? Let's see what happens. Okay, we will examine this Red Stone of Faith. Markings on the center of the stone indicate that it was once set in something. What a coincidence. We have this Golden Lynx statue. We shall combine it, and we have the Golden Lynx with red. Fantastic. So, now there are more stones to be looking for for the golden links mm hmm oh looks like this is the destination so we gotta be on our toes or not I will take this uh, red nine ammo speaking of the red nine I will completely load it up and let's see what our ammo count is at looks like I can still benefit from some more boomstick usage and they are really tantalizing me with uh, hearing Ashley's voice. Ashley. Leon! Just hang in there, Ashley. I'm coming for you. Huh. For some reason, it just took me right into this um, map screen. That is interesting. So then, exactly... Where am I relative to this? Hmm. Don't know, and um, probably don't need to care. And yeah... Leon calls them amateurs, but, uh, they seem to catch on pretty quickly that he was watching in on them, so credit where it's due, you know? Next room, gotta work my way through here. No doubt there are gonna be more soldiers and enemies and other mean things. Mm-hmm. Oh! But I was not expecting the merchant. Hello, merchant. I'm just gonna take this rifle ammo that you probably could have been selling to me in the form of another rifle. Then again, that is that does make sense if Whoa! Whoa! Where did that come from? Oh dear. Merchant, your uh your choice of places to set up shop. Could use a little bit of work. Uh huh. Are you at the top of stairs or something? Where, where the, where the bombs coming from? Oh dear. All right, gotta figure out this mystery. Oh, you're just camping on the other side of that door. All right. Let's see how my uh, semi-automatic skills are up to the task. Oh! Well, 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 don't you all have the... 
solutions, and don't I have the ouchies? Great. <laughs> Here I was talking about my good healing item situation, and uh, it went south pretty fast. So, you guys like uh, throwing explosives, do you? I'll just uh, wait here. You guys like throwing explosives, do you? Wait for it. Wait for it! <laughs> oh! Did I get them at least? Please tell me I got them at least. No, I still hear noises. So, they only throw the grenades when I get so far from the door. Interesting. Ugh. This, <laughs> this is a little frustrating, isn't it? Urgh. No! What in the heck am I supposed to be doing? Oh, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Just, uh, watch this. Urgh. Oh! Sore loser, I hit you first. <laughs> and it seems like the door only opens from that side, making this whole shoot-off rather pointless. What? Oh, there's, a, there's quite a few of you over there. Jeez. How am I supposed to be tackling this? And I just give you some hits done with the boomstick. Yes! Boomstick, the shotgun exclusive upgrade for the win. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Or oh, you're still around. I will not allow you to manipulate the door. Yes. And because I used up so much boomstick ammo, it is now in my interest to go back to a red nine. Oh, what do we have here? It is a red herb. That will be very handy, seeing as how I used up uh, all these sources of full healing so quickly into this episode. That's what happens when you take long breaks from recording just because you have it set up to to give episodes, to upload episodes and update people. Urgh! Anyway, now I can go visit the merchant. In peace. Oh, what's this? The tactical vest. Feels safer with this armored vest. Reduces damage taken by 30%. Unfortunately, it is too rich for my blood at the moment. Maybe that Golden Link applying? statue will help us pull through, hmm? Yeah, there were a bunch more upgrades in there, but uh, I think I want to save up for that vest because of all the damage I've been taking. But in the meanwhile, we might get the funds we need from this from this shooting gallery. So let's take a look. Mm-hmm, just like any other shooting gallery. Hello, merchant. You are a sight for sore eyes and sore everything else on my body. Welcome. Game D. Let's see what the basic Game D looks like. And they are already starting us off with the full length of this area. Whoa! The merchant is really throwing in a whole bunch of Ashley targets. Like, look at all those there. Okay. What exactly am I supposed to do with this? Oh, was there something behind her? Yes, there is. Huh. And the game didn't even move on until I hit the uh, Ganado that was behind the Ashley target. Interesting. Uh. Gotta hand it to you, merchant. Oh, yes! Oh, nuts. Did not mean to habitually reload. But it was still good enough to uh, win the prize. Fantastic. Oh, I'll be right back when I hit the advanced game D. Perfect. Now we move on to the advanced game D. Let's see what that's like. 
Okay, already starting off with the full gallery here, and there's probably the Paganata behind the Ashley targets. Great. Now the Ashley targets are moving. You are not very helpful, Ashley. Uh-oh! Oh, I thought he was gonna go down fast. You know, one of those quick-moving targets. And now it seems like the targets are going on merry on their merry way. Oh, there was an Ashley target behind there. Wow. Merchant, this is this is not very nice of you, merchant. With all these Ashley targets and all this clipping of wooden targets. Yeah, yeah, yuck it up. I'm gonna get you next time. Okay. You just have to really look around for the hidden targets that the merchant puts behind all the Ashley targets. My goodness. Woohoo! That was rough. That was a very fitting final challenge for the shooting gallery. Merchant! I'm ending the game. I've been awarded six bottle caps, fourth row collection complete, and 50,000 pesetas! Hello, life protecting vest, or whatever it was. Thank you, thank you very much, merchant! And let's take a look at our new bottle caps. Alright, so we've got. This is the first row, second row, third row. What do we have populating the fourth row? Soldier with Dynamite. Soldier with Stun Rod, aka Red Eyes, Scary Black Dragon Dude. Soldier with Hammer. I don't think that's a hammer, but who am I to judge? Isabel. Okay. I guess the uh, female Ganado needs a name too. Maria. And last, certainly not least, JJ. Yeah! Look at this guy. He knows what's up. He knows how to be awesome and badastic. Uh, I guess I guess I know who the merchant likes if these are the people that he makes bottle caps out of, including three of them for Leon alone. Okay, I I needed that high note to end the the episode off on. Thank you, merchant. Okay, now that we have our pesetas in tow. Got some rare What are you buying? Oh, we we'll get this tactical vest. Is, Is that, that just applied to Leon or does it go in the inventory? Uh no, it just <laughs> it's just you. applied to Leon. So now I have thirty less damage applied to me. Which is very good considering all the damage I've been getting thus far, and look! We even see the vest on Leon, the uh stuff strapped around him. We always thought that Leon was strapping. Well, now he actually is strapping. He's strapping. Okay. This, uh, this was quite the humbling episode, wasn't it? Just goes to show how rusty you can get. And I'll head over to the next door to see what is there. That is a green text door, meaning that whatever ahead is, uh... Looks like there might be an event there, or some... Or maybe it's just going to be a safe room after all I've been through. Next time on Let's Play Resident Evil 4, we will go through this... This wonderful looking door. Until then, game out. I'm not going to win anyway.